And here we can see all the accessories that come with it. So you get a scope with a decent amount of wire it looks like. It looks like some attachments for the scope. It looks like USB to USB-C adapter. A USB to micro USB adapter. So it looks like here we have a stand. And it's a pretty nice one guys. It's got a foam pad on the bottom. And it's finished in chrome. And it's all metal. Very nice. So it's one of those one lever here does everything. It tightens up the whole thing as you tighten this. Also, there's a very tiny little screw in there or bolt for something. And we have a manual and it looks like a little tiny CD, application CD. Very interesting. So I guess if you were going to use this on the computer, you could install this and use the software to connect to the microscope. So it looks like we have the focus wheel on the very top of the rod there. And here it kind of tells you how to use all the software and things like that. If you do have a Mac, you can download VLC looks like to use with the scope. For phones, here's a little scan bar here and they do have an app for that. All right, so let's take a closer look at the scope here. So it's about six inches long or so. And in the front there, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a camera right there with a lens. And there's actually looks like to be little LEDs in there. So if you're gonna get something really close, you want to, you know to have light there. So as we move up here, it looks like here, this is the focusing ring. And so the focusing ring just turns here and you should be able to adjust for a clear image as you're looking at something. So as we go down, we see a cable, a little strap here. So the cable looks to be about four feet long or so. Here's a little controller, and this controls the brightness of the LEDs. And if you go to the end of the wire, you'll find the USB plug here. But this is not just an ordinary USB plug. This is a multifunction one. So if you pry this down, you can see that now we have a micro USB here that you could plug straight into a phone. And if that wasn't possible, you could use this adapter that they included and then plug in into your phone. But if you have a newer phone, which most of them are going to USB-C, you would use this adapter just like that. So as you can see, guys, you have all the options to connect. So it should be pretty easy to get connected on any of your devices. All right, so let's try to put the scope in this stand that they include here. This is a very nice stand, and it appears to be that the scope goes into here, and then you can kind of adjust it wherever you want by just loosening this. You know, and then it's really loose and then tighten it exactly in the position you want and it stays there. Screw here that was included actually threads into the top here. And that's what's going to keep the scope from not turning in there or moving around. So you'll tighten it with this little screw. So all we do is we just slide it in there. So depending on how where you're going to have it is how far you're going to go down. But we'll leave it about right here. And there you go guys. How that little mount works there. And obviously you can point this in any direction, you know. So I went ahead and used the adapter that comes with it. And we're going to use the Teslon HD camera app. And look at that, guys. Looks like something is on. All right, so hopefully you can see that the something's moving there, but it appears to be out of focus at the moment. So we need to go ahead and just spin this little ring here until we can have a clear picture. All right, so it looks like I'm getting somewhere. So once you hit it clear, you'll know. And we're pretty much butted against the table there. And you can see how good it's picking up the wood there, the wood grains. You can actually see the detail in the clear coat, the little bubbles or whatever they are, that this table was cleared with. So as I move it, you guys can see the refresh rate is actually really good. So yeah guys, you can see that is the pen that I was writing with on the paper there and that's how the inks laid down, which is really crazy. But yeah, that just blows my mind. I mean, it's amazing how you can see how a pen lays down the ink. So that is the ink particles on that paper there. So here's my phone case, and I'm wondering if we can look at these carbon fiber. Not sure if that's real or not, but I'm kind of curious of what that looks like. Set it up here. So I raise the scope, and now I'm just going to lower it slowly until I can see the fibers. You know what, let's make this on an angle because I'm kind of curious. I wonder if we can see it better. You can actually see the carbon fiber. So this is what it looks like to your eye, I guess. And then if you put it under the microscope, that's what it looks like. So you can see the individual little strands there of whatever, however that was made. It looks like maybe printed or I'm not sure how they would make this. But that's pretty amazing of how you can see the individual little lines so close. 